Hello everyone, this is Afsa Ali. So in this video, you're gonna, uh, you're gonna access Gmail using uh, OAuth 2.0. So this is actually continuation of my previous videos. Uh, so if you see already in my channel, uh, there is a video called Google API OAuth 2.0, get access token and refresh token. Uh, this is a part one. So here I, uh, I think some people are uh, having some issue uh, using a curl command. So I'll try to uh, continue uh, the same process in this particular video with uh, completely with the postman. Okay. Yeah. If you guys uh, want to see more uh, videos on my channel, also you can uh, go to this particular uh, website that I'll be uh, I'll be sharing this link in the video descriptions of this current uh, current uh, video. All right, so you can also see uh, what all uh, video specific to uh, this Gmail API is available. And I'll be adding a lot more videos on this. So uh, please subscribe to my channel, all right? Okay, first of all, uh, let's uh, go to the uh, Google. And if you do not have any uh, Gmail, uh, Gmail account, just create one uh, new account. And then you need to go to uh, developer, um, this is the console.cloud.google.com. Okay, so just uh, go to this particular um, website, All right? Once you are there, just select, I have a couple of account over here. So I'll be selecting uh, my preferred Gmail account. Once you select that, uh, what you need to do is uh, you need to create a project over here. So I already have some project that's why it's showing over here. If you do not have project, then just uh, need to create a project. Okay, so just click on a new project, uh, right? Um, maybe I'll say my uh, demo project two, All right? So I'll be, uh, you, you, you can name anything, click on create. So it will take some time to create your project, right? Once that is being done, you can see select project. You can also click over here or maybe from this drop down also you can select that project, right? That is being selected already. Then after that, what you need to do is um, you can also uh, go over here in the search. You can also search for Gmail, okay? So in here, you'll see Gmail API. Just click on that, the Gmail API. Okay, so you need to enable the Gmail API for that particular account or for that particular project, I would say. Right, so uh, this is done. Okay, so once that is being done, uh, enable and create credential, click on that. Then here, uh, you need to select uh, particular things. Uh, okay, so here uh, you need to select Gmail API. Okay, here you need to say user data because you are creating OAuth client, so you need to select this particular thing. If you do not want to uh, accept any user's information or user consent, then you don't have to select this one, this one, uh, you need to select this one, this this particular will use the service account, okay? But we need a OAuth to um, application. So app name, uh, you can um, give any name, Gmail API app, okay? So user support email, just select the email name. Uh, if you have any logo, you can select that. And developer information, you can say, uh, I can say my same email address over here, save and continue. So here you need to uh, also select uh, add or remove scopes. You can also um, go ahead with the Gmail. Um, Gmail here, you can see uh, different, different uh, scopes available. Okay, so I would say the Gmail uh, scopes. This is the read, delete all your email or, or this thing. I'll be selecting this one, all right? So 
Eh, ya, yeah. ah, let me see. That. One second. I select this one and it is update over here. Okay, so you should see uh, in here already. Fine. Uh, then save and continue. Then the scopes uh, over here, I'll select the web application and let's, uh, you can name anything over here. Uh, for me, let it be then add URL, I'll say HTTP. Uh, you can provide your own um, production ready uh, host name or URL over here. Okay, where you want to redirect from here. Okay, create now. Uh, then uh, you can uh, download the credential. So what I'll do, client ID, I'll just copy from here. Um, I would copy from here and write it over here. And also I can download this uh, for my reference in the desktop. And uh, uh, most important thing you need to also go to this uh, OAuth consent screen. Okay. Uh, here, uh, this is in testing. Uh, uh, the application is in a testing uh, phase, okay? So you need to add the test user because if you publish this, this will be uh, this will be in production and you also need to provide, um, uh, or maybe this application will be uh, reviewed by the Google. Then only uh, once that is a review process is being done, then uh, they will activate uh, your account uh, or the, uh, your app, okay? Uh, as we are not going to deploy in the production uh, this, so let it be there. And I can just add some users over here so I can use the same um, same user um, like this. Um, I would use my, the same uh, email ID over here. Okay, save. Also, I can use my another email ID. All right, so this two will be saved over here, right? So this these two are the testing accounts. Basically, you can send, delete, or do whatever uh, using uh, these two accounts, okay? You can use this app, testing app, okay? Because it is not in production. So if you publish, then it will take some time uh, from the Google, then uh, they will activate this uh, app. Then only you will be able to access everything. But for now, uh, we can add this to, uh, mo most importantly, the same uh, Gmail, uh, Gmail ID I'm using over here. And one more, fine. So once that is being done, uh, you can go ahead and go to the domain. Um, yeah, no need, uh, agreement is no need, I think that's all. So once that is being done, uh, yeah, uh, you need, so uh, we got the client ID. So client secret, uh, you can get it from the, uh, the file that you downloaded already. So in my uh, desktop, I can go over here and I can just open it in any text editor, right? So you can see the client secret is there and client ID is the, also is there. So I just copy the client secret. If you can see uh, my screen. Okay, so let me just quickly copy from here. Uh, this is my client uh, secret and I'll just put it over here. Okay, so this is my client a secret. So this two step is being done. Now the next uh, things are three uh, steps we need to perform. The first one is to generate the code. Then uh, the second one is the refresh token. Third one is get the access token. Okay, so this three thing we can do 
um, easily using Postman. So for that, you need uh, you need to download uh, the JSON file. Okay, so I already uploaded in my uh, GitHub repository. So I'll be providing this link in uh, description. Okay, so you can just download this particular collection. Okay, uh, collection or JSON, Postman collection basically. So once you download, or maybe you can just uh, copy from copy everything. All right, and just save it as a um, JSON file. Once you save as a JSON file in uh, somewhere in a uh, local directory, then uh, you need to go to uh, you need to go to the uh, Postman. All right, so I open the Postman. Okay, so make sure you use the Postman uh, application, uh, another web version. Okay, so uh, you can see over here the import button. So just click on that import button, right? And I choose the file that I already downloaded over here in the desktop. I have this Gmail authentication collection .json file. So just open here and import it. So once you import it and you will see this Gmail authentication folder, okay? So yeah, the three things you will be seeing over here. Okay, first one is get code. Okay, so the first is a uh, get a uh, code, um, this this API, get API, all right? So if you see here, uh, params, within the params, uh, we are providing access type, redirect URI, response type, uh, and client ID. So this client ID, you need to provide from here, okay? We already got the client ID from here. I just select the client ID. All right, so once you got this and you can send it. So basically uh, it will try to redirect uh, somewhere. So what you need to do, just copy from here, right? For uh, the first one and just paste uh, those thing for the code, uh, this one, right? So you just need to paste over here and it will ask you to choose uh, the account. So just select your uh, preferred account where we have provided in the test account, okay? So this one I'll be selecting. Then, uh, uh, okay, so I uh, you need to uh, authenticate it. Once you authenticate that, uh, okay, I need to 9.32.6.5.0 my, This is the OTP I got. So once once that is being done, you'll saying you have been given access to an app that's currently being tested. So as I said, so this app is being tested. Basically, uh, it is not in the production yet. So we are good to uh, go. Just click on continue. Okay. So here you need to provide that access. So this particular app can read, compose, send, and permanently delete all your email from the Gmail. So you need to click on this checkbox, then continue. Okay, so once the you click on the continue, then uh, you will be redirected to this uh, local host, then code, all right? So just copy everything, the response from uh, above, and just paste it over here, and you'll get that this is called the code. Okay, so this is the response type. So we can just um, uh, paste over here. You got the code. All right, you got the code. So then the next step is uh, get the refresh token. So in the next uh, post API call, okay, this is the post API call, go to the body. Okay, so this body makes sure this is uh, XWW form URL encoded, and you need to uh, use that code here. Okay, just now we got this code. I use this code from here and just paste it in here, okay? Then the next is client ID. So make sure you you need to change the uh, everything, all right? 
like uh, client ID, client secret, uh, and the code. Three things you need to change. So this is my client secret. Okay. Okay, so once that is being done, just uh, click on the send. Okay, now you got the access token and you got the refresh token. I'll just copy everything, the response, all the response, I got it from the uh, second step. All right, I'll just paste it over here. Okay, so you got this access token. Using this access token, you can, um, you can um, access any uh, Gmail API, right? So you can also see uh, this is the expires. We have a refresh token. So this is important. Uh, using this refresh token, you can generate access token anytime, right? So make sure this is the refresh token. Uh, you will keep it handy. So now the next thing uh, we need to do, uh, how we'll generate, uh, how how will get the access token each time when it uh, expires? Okay, now this is the third uh, API. Okay, in that collect collection. So similarly, uh, what you need to do is use this client ID. Okay, I'll just change. So you just change is uh, change everything because uh, this all are old um, client ID and client secret. Etc. All right. Then the refresh token. So the refresh token, uh, I got it already from the previous step. Just uh, change it. And now you can say you will get the access token anytime. All right. So yeah, you can get the access token anytime right so yeah like that fine so let's see you can go uh, in the gmail api um, documentation there you can see a lot of uh, rest api information over there okay so in this i'll just uh, go ahead and get the messages so uh, this list uh, what it will do it will uh, list down all the uh, email okay uh, or the messages uh, of that particular user. Okay, so what I'll do, I'll just copy this HTTP request, that is the get type till here. So here is user ID also, you can provide uh, your user ID, or you can also use me, me, me also will uh, refer to your current uh, Gmail ID, all right? So I'll just copy here and I'll just create a new Postman uh, uh, request called get emails. Okay, I'll just uh, paste the same thing. Uh, you can see in, in, in place of user ID, I'll just use ME, all right? So yeah, and uh, here I'll select the bearer token, all right? And, and here, yeah, that's all. So in the token, you need to use the access token you got from here, okay? One, one more time, I'll just get the new uh, refreshed uh, access token, sorry using the refresh token once you uh, do that you just paste over here okay once you uh, paste and just click on send so you can see now uh, you got all the sms uh, sorry message uh, the email id and thread id okay so yeah basically using the thread id uh, you can then next uh, you know access other um, other endpoints to get the, uh, get the email body or whatever, right? So yeah, you can uh, do uh, uh, like this stuff. Uh, uh, maybe in the coming videos, I'll be uh, doing more more of the things uh, from here. We're uh, using the REST API, using the Postman. Okay, yeah, that's all uh, for this video. Yeah, uh, bye for now.